Right, welcome back. This is uh, my third episode of uh, my quad project. I decided to do a little video to help explain what my website uh, says about it. Sometimes it's a little bit easier if you actually see what's going on. So I figured I'd put this together and maybe it would help a few people out if they decide they want to go ahead and try building the quad. Uh, on this episode, we're basically discussing the wire that goes around the perimeter of the uh, four supporting rods that hold it out there through the tips. Um, I managed to get a hold of some of this uh, 12 gauge. It's white plastic coated, stranded. Uh, they call it primary wire. I picked that up at a local automotive store and it, it seemed to do just what I needed it to do. Uh, basically I took the dimensions from an online calculator um, the dimensions uh, are very precise. I took this thing upstairs. I made this little little uh, reel to put it in so I could reel it out. You know, I didn't have any help doing this, so I had to do this all by myself. So I, I took the dimensions. I pulled the wire out one quarter length at a time, the distance from one rod to the other, and uh, each quarter length I marked off uh, with a black mark. Uh, as I've got here, I don't know if you can see it, and on either side of that I got a half inch of a red marker. Uh, and basically this is what slides through the tips. So at each end of this I put a little pull tie here and here, and this would lock it into place, and of course this goes all around the perimeter of both the driven element and the reflector. And of course the, uh, the reflector element is about 5% larger than the driven element. Uh, I'm not quite sure how that works. I never was that great in mathematics, but uh, it, it seems to work pretty well. It, it gives plenty of gain. Forward gain is about 10 to 12 dB uh, according to the specs, and uh, it has pretty great uh, reflection coming from the back. You know, it prevents unwanted signals from interfering with the ones you really want to talk to. Uh, so I made uh, two sets of wires and I mocked them. One is driven. Uh, and the other one is marked for the reflector, so that when it comes time to take this thing outside and put it together, I'll know which wire is which. Uh, it seems to work out pretty good. And like I say, the only thing is the uh, reflector wire is one continuous loop soldered to connection, soldered together, and that connection, soldered connection, is inside of one of these tips, so it kind of protects it from the weather. Uh, the driven element, uh, it goes to one point. Uh, and in this case, it's off to the side because it, uh, it's set up for vertical polarization. If it was set up for horizontal, the feed point would be at the bottom. Uh, and on this one, like I explained in a previous episode, this is a nylon bolt, 3 8 with a little, little uh, uh, narrow nut to hold it where it's supposed to be. I drilled eighth inch holes through here to hold the wire in place, so the distance from here to the center is the extra wire that comes out on each end of this. I put the pull ties on, I put the old hot glue to it to make sure it doesn't come off, and that left me with my connections in it will you know, eventually go through the project box and they're connected to the RG58 cable I have strung up. Uh, and then all that stuff is all back, and my wife still doesn't know what it is. But <laughs> anyway, she tolerates it, so that's great. I'm having a, it's, it's a hobby. Uh, I pretty much just getting into it. I enjoyed it. The antenna has worked very well. Uh, I hope somebody enjoys this project it because once you've used a cubicle quad, uh, it's basically it's only two elements. Uh, it has the gain of about a three element Yagi type antenna, uh, and it has enough signal. It's, it's coming in off the side. So basically, I use it for my overall antenna. I don't have a, just a straight vertical antenna. I, all I have is the quad, and right now I'm only into 10 meters. Uh, so it's, I'm having a little bit of fun. Uh, 10 meter band hasn't opened up much lately, and hopefully this uh, later on this summer and, and into the fall, the 10 meter band will become active again, and I can really enjoy the quad. But in the meantime, I like to play with these things, and like I say, hopefully the video will help someone uh, put things uh, into place so that what I described on the website uh, is going to be usable uh, and help people make sense of it all. 
I'm not a very good videographer, but uh, you know, sometimes these little things help. Uh, hold on just a second, I want to see something here. Okay, I think that's about it for this episode. Um, I do want to thank uh, YouTube for posting these videos. Uh, they've been uh, very good about putting them up and uh, this helps me out. So and, uh, hopefully it will help some other people make a little bit more sense of the ham. Uh, this quad project, it's a cubicle quad and uh, it is a full wave antenna and it seems to work about the best of the ones that I've tried. Uh, so it's, uh, it's onward and upward and uh, I hope you uh, get a chance to visit my website. The website is uh, listed on Ham Universe. You might check that out. It's called My Quad Project. And uh, I also have my personal website, and there's a link on Ham Universe to my personal website. And you could also check that out. So I hope you enjoy this if you decide to build it. And I'd like to do the whole thing outside to put string to wire, uh, but uh, it's a little bit complicated. So I think I just, hopefully the uh, text on the website will explain it enough so anybody that's never done this before, whether you're a cb -er or a ham and you're interested in 10 meters, will go ahead and, and, and make the investment, build one of these things, and I really think that uh, if, you're, if you pay attention to all the dimensions, if it comes out right, uh, you'll really enjoy the project. So uh, we'll maybe catch you on the air sometime. Uh, take care.